forecast has some drizzle, some fog, but the weekend should be nice. Storm Team 4 tracking all of it for you. For Maria La Rosa of the law firm Fog and Drizzle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they're, they're, very so, good. they're shady. Associates. They're shady that law. Oh, tell you. I'm careful with them. <laughs> you could be in for some money. <laughs> Just call this number. Um, no, we're ready for you, but the, that sums it up beautifully. Some fog, some drizzle, nice weekend. Let's give you the details in between and start with uh, Storm Tracker 4. The live radar showing over the last hour. Uh, there is an accident out there, though, on Vets Highway. So in Suffolk County, Vets Highway shut down in both directions between 5th Avenue and 13th Avenue. Apparently, some uh, a pole and wires came down in the roadway, so that's certainly a spot to avoid. Outside of that, it's road work. So westbound on the LIE, after exit 19, you have a few lanes blocked, and you can see the delay there. And you also have some on the Brooklyn bound upper level of the Manhattan Bridge. Right now, it looks like all lanes are closed, so stick with the lower level. Darlene, I might go back to you. Thanks so much, Lauren. 402 right now in just a matter of hours, an FDA advisory committee set to vote on whether or not Americans need a third dose of the Pfizer vaccine. This comes as the debate over the need for boosters continues within the F by midday. We're into the low to mid 70s. That's where we stay. We bump up to more summertime temperatures for the weekend with a little dip heading into next week, but it comes along with drier air moving into and I have some new chances for showers in that extended forecast. I'll show you in the 10 day. Maria, thanks so much. Washington is on edge one Saturday and Sunday. Okay. We like it. Thank Warren, you. what's happening? Road work, okay. track work. Wow. Hey, it's early. This is what we talk about every day. Uh, there's some out there on. It's 426 right now. A Friday ride to work, and Maria LaRosa is here looking at the forecast. Pretty in pink. Oh, yes. Uh, not so pretty, though. A lot of gray. Oh, it is well, gray. Gray can be nice, too. <laughs> It'll make us appreciate the sun tomorrow. Let's start there. Okay. Uh, we do have some showers showing up on radar. They're light. All right. Well, if you're headed out on the roads, I'm going to show you where the delays are right now. Over on 440 northbound, you have some road work heading into Woodbridge Avenue. So you can see it's a slow go, almost back to the Garden State Parkway. Then heading over to the Long Island Expressway in Queens westbound, you have some construction out there just after exit 19 between exit 19 and the BQE. So you can see some delays. It looks like it's starting to get a little bit better. So hopefully they'll clear that up soon. Michael, over to you. All right, thanks very much. Big day today because now, right now you've got a lot still in the 70s though. 72 in the city, 74 in Newark. We're close to that in Islip at 69 degrees. There are the low cloudiness. Just count on some drizzle, some patchy fog and even some light showers from time to time through the day today. But it's another afternoon pumpkin. I love the great jack o lantern blaze. If you're headed out right now, uh, the subways are in pretty good shape, but you have planned track work out there, so that impacts the 4, 7, F, G, and L lines, and those delays and service changes should wrap up at 5 a.m. Heading over to the major commuter rail lines, so far so good, but Raritan Valley line trains continue to bypass the Bridgewater Station. Let's take a live look outside at the Verrazano Bridge, where you do have both directions between Route 33 and Route 7. Right now, there's a little bit more of a southbound delay in the area. Then heading over to the vet, uh, to Vets Highway, it shut down in both directions with an accident involving down wires and some injuries. That's closed between 5th Avenue and 13th Avenue, so avoid it for now. And heading over to New Jersey on 280 eastbound, you have an accident heading towards the turnpike with extremely minor delays, so just use caution. Heading over to the George Washington Bridge, here's a live look. Things moving along nicely in both directions and on both levels. And alternate side of the street parking rules, they are back in effect today. Darlene, back to you. Thanks so much. It's 447 right now. And the first annual pizza eating contest, that'll oh. be next Friday, mm -hmm. Feast of San Gennaro runs through September 26th. I love everything about mm -hmm. it. I, I do All too. of it, everything mm -hmm. you just said. We just have to see how they do. Maria, I know you're yeah. always fascinated by how they do the different eating contests, right. how they do the cannoli one. I know, I don't know. But yeah. I want I want the prevailing wind to shift because I want to smell all oh, of that. Oh, you know it smells delicious the there. The Zeppelis? The oh, Zeppelis are the oh, best. Oh, anything stop fried. Yeah. Stop, stop, stop. Paper bag. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a northerly wind today. So oh, okay, we're going to miss go. out. So that's I'm going to miss out. Uptown. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I want to zoom in on the radar. Uh, we on have Mott and Grand Street. Mm. I think I see some cannolis Ooh. there. What I don't see, any rain showers, at least not right now. Some light showers in through Monmouth County now near San All right, thanks so much. Maria zooming in that closely yeah. on the city grid streets reminds me that the UN General Assembly is next week. Oh. So there's going to be lots of street closures and a lot of my maps are going to be looking like that. But right. in the meantime, it's the Bridgewater Station in both directions. Okay, Lauren, thanks so much. Today, the crew of Inspiration4, they'll begin their second full day in space. So far, while in orbit, they have circled the Earth more than 15 times. SpaceX. <laughs> well, yes. for people. Still to come, our top stories, including this. 
New York City's day. It's September 17th. I'm Darlene Rodriguez. I'm Michael Gorgiugo. We're in Scalis here watching our roads and rail. Storm Team 4 is Maria La Rosa with the all-important cannoli-eating <laughs> contest yeah. in Janeiro forecast. You don't want rain on the cannoli. You don't, but you don't want it too hot because no. if you're sweating, you don't feel you don't good. Right. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to give it I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 cannoli-eating okay. weather. Ooh, yeah, nice. yeah. I, I personally like to eat more when it's cloudy, so it's perfect. Oh, Let's yeah. show you out there right now. We have for most of you if you're headed out uh, for the morning drive right now there are a couple of issues including a closure the LIE east, eastbound right there yeah I don't know why I can't explain that one when you get off the LIE eastbound you're trying to get to the BQE that ramp is closed <laughs> heading over to Vets Highway that is also closed in both directions with an accident involving some down wires out there so that's between 5th Avenue and 13th Avenue definitely a spot to avoid for a while that it's going to take some time to clean up Darlene over to you thanks so much Lauren 502 right now just a matter of hours an FDA advisory by passing the Bridgewater station in both directions and if you're getting on the ferries all good news from there except that the Greenpoint landing continues uh, to be closed. We'll take a live look outside at the Southern State Parkway on Long Island. Here's what it looks like out by the Meadowbrook Parkway. Things are moving along. All of the major roadways on Long Island are in good shape. You're watching Today in New York. 2020 it was certainly if you are getting on the rails, there are delays in both directions on the L train right now. Outside of that, subways are in great shape. NJ Transit still bypassing the Bridgewater station in both directions. And if you're getting on the ferries, all good news from there, except that the Greenpoint landing continues uh, to be closed. We'll take a live look outside of the not too much, which is always good news for the commute if you're headed out for the morning drive. You can see lots of green on the maps. Heading over to the Merritt Parkway southbound, you still have a bit of a delay uh, because of that road work out there between exits 41 and 40. Then in Suffolk County, Vets Highway is closed uh, between 5th Avenue and 13th Avenue. That's in both directions. An accident with down wires out there, so that could be out there uh, with cleanup for a while. Heading over to the BQE, uh, cameras are fogged out this morning, but you can see here by the traffic flows that delays are starting to build out there heading into that new traffic pattern that begins at Atlantic Avenue and then heading over to the LIE construction cleared things are moving along nicely in both directions and alternate side of the street parking rules they are in effect Darlene back to you all right